Hello friends and welcome back to Let's Build Newcrest. This is obviously the semi-detached houses that we have been building and um, in today's one we're going to get the, the the more traditional side furnished and complete ready for Barb and Merv to move in. Um, so yeah, I saw a lot of you guys wanted Barb and, Barb and Merv. <laughs> I'm laughing at the name now. Barb and Merv. <laughs> Their house is going to be completed today. So, um, I'll make the sims as well ready for next time. And also the sims that are going to be moving in here. Now, I was laughing at some of the comments that you guys were saying. Who you could see moving into the house next door. So, we're going to be get, we're going to be channeling some, some power lesbian vibes going in. So, we'll get a couple moving in next door with a small baby. Um, maybe one of the mums can be uh, a stay-at-home mum. And the other one's a really high-powered businesswoman um who is on the is on the rise in the corporate fields i don't know that's where we're gonna go with that situation but we've got barb and murph's house to do today now i have already gone through as i usually do and put in the wallpapers and flooring plus a few other little details um just to get things flowing and lights etc um again i wanted to keep this very traditional so we've gone for this gorgeous carpet i'm definitely going to be using these sofas these came with the um university pack but i don't know what tone to use on that yet we'll we'll get we'll we'll get to that in a bit and I'm, the figuration of this as well is going to be a bit weird i'm thinking about actually putting a tv on top of the fireplace and i really hate that in real life i know people some people can't uh, help that because of their layout or whatnot um to the house but also i was thinking of maybe doing a two-seater here like ignore that this is the three-seater um i don't know maybe like a three-seater like in this direction a couple of armchairs and then the tv unit in the bay window which does happen quite a lot but i'm, I'm kind of happy keeping that as a seating area don't know why we're going into this just yet but things are being sorted. Um, a few little things from last time as well. You guys said about putting bikes and stuff in the garage. We will do that. It will come in the um, the detailing episode when we get to this house next time. Um, and obviously I put the washing line here. And some people were saying, well, wouldn't they have a washer and dryer? I was like, well, yeah, they'll have a washer and dryer as well. But in the UK, we do have, I don't know if that's the same everywhere. We have washers tumble dryers and washing lines <laughs> depending on what you want to do with your washing you've got multiple choices which is absolutely gorgeous um i don't know where to start don't know where to start i might start in here now the only thing with this is that i might even push the car in because the access uh, there's no kind of like door access like that has with this garage this has got a door on the back here main reasons being it has it's got all of this in the way i could have even done a door here um and sort of had an entrance in that way but i'm not going to i am not going to do it because i tried to do it and it ended up deleting this um greenhouse which by the way guys doesn't work properly which is always great um so what i've done is i sided it up one um tile and we'll, we're gonna see no not brick we're gonna see if we can um what what we're going to see if we can fix it. We're going to see if we can fix it. And I, will, I, as I always do, I will always play it test everything to make sure everything works for you guys when you do come to download it into your game. So yeah, we'll start on the garage. So I've put one of these little lights in from get to work there. I think this place would look good with a workbench. Um, and maybe some storage. Maybe some storage going on in here. Where's the workbench? I always forget where... Is it called woodworking bench or just workbench? Workbench? No, of course it's not. It's probably called... Jeffrey the workbench or something. Wood working, wood working table. There we go. No, it's not called Jeffrey. <laughs> it's actually called a wood working table. Thank God. Some of the names, I always say this, but some of the names that these things are called and the Sims, they just don't make sense. I wonder if we could get to that. It doesn't need to be majorly playable, this area. Um, and what I mean by that is I, I hope that will work. I'll shuffle the car along just a little bit for realism. So yeah, they'll still be able to back out of there if they need it. Bit of a sports car for Barb and Merv, but they saved up all of their pension and they were like, do you know what? Barb, we're getting a sports car. Barbara was a little bit angry about it in the beginning, but um, she came around to the idea. 
<laughs> Christ, save us all from my um, imagination in this. <laughs> now, storage wise, maybe mm, I could put in some cupboards from a kitchen, actually. That could be a good idea. And use the long versions of them. What would look... Oh, these would. In the darker aspect. Um, oh, no, they've got plates. Oh, no, I suppose that looks okay, actually. Oh, that does look quite good, actually, in there. It's not got, like, kitchen-specific things in it, either. And I'm, I'm sure we have got little storage things as well that um, have got things and stuff in them, but... That is kind of working for me there. Yeah. Well, that was bloody easy, wasn't it? That was easy. And maybe just a few, like, boxes of stuff. I'll get out that Christmas... Get out, I'll get out that Christmas decoration thing as well. I forgot where that is. Is it in recreation? Yeah, it's here, look. So some more Christmas decks. We'll do... That colour looks great. And so does that. We'll pop one of you in there as well. Just like this, just random little cluttery object stuffs. I think that would be perfect. <laughs> perfect. Um, and also maybe just some like clutter. I'll probably put some clutter in here. It is a very clutter looking place, I do believe. So maybe just some of those weird stacks of boxes. Oh, this has got food in it, but maybe I could turn that around and it would kind of act that way. Yeah, that's fine, look great. That always looks a bit small. Can I size that up without looking weird? Absolutely not. No. <laughs> not at all. So I'll tuck it in the corner instead. Tuck it in the corner. Hide those fruits away. Yeah, that's a bit better. Okay. Okay. Um, And on this side. What could we put on this side? So. <laughs> it wasn't the thing I was looking for. But I think it's going to work. It's this weird little like. I know it's supposed to be a bar, but it's got like a chest freezer and stuff there with random objects. Looks very like garage. Oh, it's got a snake on it. It's got snakes. Snakes are, they just love snakes. <laughs> um, and I've moved the chairs over there. Um, and I think that's all right in there. I think that might be all right. I might actually add a cobweb or two. A little cobweb just up there. Yeah, just a cheeky cobweb. That's where Denise the spider lives. <laughs> Denise the spider. Okay, right, we're carrying on. <laughs> Before I change my mind on Denise. Right, so let's start with the hallway. We may as well, we're here. Um, They would have like a little, hmm, isn't it in this area? It's like one of those little coat hanging things. I never know what to call them. Never know what to call them. Are they on surfaces or something stupid? I know they're in somewhere stupid. They're in a category that is stupid. Yes, shelves. Is it? I don't know. I mean, that would work as well. Dog. Oh, yeah, they're, they're here. Look. Yeah, great. Yeah, we... Bob, they're definitely going to have a dog. They can have a dog and a cat, these two. Dog and a cat. And my fault was with the grandparents and stuff they're extremely close to their grandkids because it, they come from a single parent family the kids because they're um i'm gonna say dad i'm gonna say dad sadly passed away so the grandparents have had a big massive influence on these kids lives um and that is the story that is the story very sad story <laughs> but it's a story nonetheless <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's kind of fitting in with the aesthetic I want to go for there. Hmm. Okay. Um, and here, maybe just a little cheeky chair just underneath um, where they can just plop down and put on a shoe or two. Well, they'd need to put on two shoes. It's a bit weird if you put on one shoe, wouldn't it? Um. <laughs> I have no idea. I'm sorry. Are they too big there? I suppose... Yes. <laughs> I suppose yes. I could, though. Just scoot that in there. Is that weird? Is that weird being that close to the stair there? Kind of is. So I am going to try and push this in somehow and not catch the door. I mean, this is the door frame. So it doesn't matter too much. But I want to just skirt it in. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. 
Fine. A couple of cheeky pictures here as well, I believe. I think that's the way to go with it. But a little, a little like, I wish we could have those cheesy ones that say like serenity on them. <laughs> Do you know the ones I mean? Like these. <laughs> Where are these from? These are the, this is the exact thing I was thinking of. What pack is this from? Oh, it's um, an inspirational mouse poster. I'm all for an inspirational mouse. <laughs> I mean, what is a home without an inspirational mouse photo on the wall? Answers in the comments below, please. Thank you. <laughs> it's not a home at all. Spoiler alert. Um, Okay. And some really garish sconces. This, is that going to fit with the lighting? It kind of does, actually. So we're going to flop one of you there and one there as well. That's definitely not at the same height. Oh, it kind of is. Probably not if I go in this mode, though. Let's have a look. It's a bit higher, I think. And a bit wider away. So maybe, what's the default on this? Weird. That's what the default is. We're just going to go with that, though. And maybe I can move the inspirational mouse just further, <laughs> further along. <laughs> Still laughing at the fact that there's an inspirational mouse poster. I can't believe that. How have I missed that? Anyway, so under the stairs, look, I've put a door. They won't be able to use that door, I don't think. Might be able to. I've never checked. But I've also done like a little storage area underneath um, here. So maybe if I'll go into these and put in a few more boxes and stuff underneath the stairs. Um, just some random objects. Doesn't matter really what they are. Um, size you down. And then that can act as just like, oh, presents. Presents under the stairs as well. That's where they hide all the grounds against Christmas presents. Presents under the stairs. There we go. Stunning. And maybe just a few more cheeky cobwebs underneath here. Where are you? Where? Oh. Where are you? There you are. Corner cobweb. Oh, I've missed it now. Oh, I can't. Oh, well. You get, you get the picture. You get the picture. And maybe a little curtain up here as well. Now, I've already gone and picked the curtains out for what I wanted to use in the living room areas and maybe even the bedroom, just because these fit perfectly and help a little bit more light come through than what happens when you put curtains on the windows in The Sims 4. Oh my God, that took so long to get out then. <laughs> but um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and maybe, maybe put a blind up, actually. Maybe a blind. That might block it off too much, though. I wish we could have, like, an open concept blind. We've got these, but they're bloody awful, and they stick out 95 feet away from the window. Um, Maybe a roller blind. Oh, that's not too bad. And they all, they went... I remember in the 80s, they had this real... Is that going to fit in the... Yeah, it kind of does. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Little roller blind. They went through this oriental phase as well in the 70s and 80s, if I remember rightly. So maybe that's where we're going to go with that. Um, And here? Don't want to put anything there? Maybe. We'll come back to that. We'll come back to that. We'll get on with the living area now. This is going to be a bit awkward because I do want to get this layout just right. I was thinking over here, maybe putting a desk area in with like a bookcase somewhere and having just this area kind of as the living room area. What about if I put the chip? No, that will make all the interior designers... In, who watched my videos? Squirm. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, I mean, Barb and Merv would love an armchair. So I think I'm going to do one chair in the bay window. Not pull it. Do I want to pull it back as far? It's such a nice bay window. I don't want to waste it. <laughs> right, I think I, what I'm going to try. We're going to put this up against the wall there. We're going to change the color of that. I'm going to pick something that a TV will flop upon really nice. Flop upon. Very nicely. Again, need to remember the aesthetic. So quite weathered collections and like of furniture over the years that do not necessarily go together nor fit in with colour schemes and whatnot. Um, but still very neat and tidy house. Still feel, see the house being quite neat and tidy. And we don't necessarily need a bougie ass TV. I mean, that's just massive. And that's a little bit too small. We need some more TVs. 
We do. We do need some more TVs in game. Maybe if I size that one down. That's a bit better. That's a little bit better. I could even put this at like an angle in the bay window. Oh, yes, it's going to work. That's going to work. Oh, no, the button. Look. Oh, for goodness sake. It's ruined it. What do you look like, big? Eh? It's fine. It is fine. We're going to skirt that perfectly there. Yeah. That's not too bad, actually, because I can move this along. Put an armchair here and then an armchair here. Don't think we got matching armchairs with that, or we could have done. Let's choose the color of this first. Um, I just like a cream. I just want like a nice beige, beige sofa. What was that? That was gray. Mm. Green. That's like a greeny beige. What other choices can we do? What about just the normal one that we had? Like this. That comes in a beige. Yeah, I'm kind of feeling that, actually. And I think I'm feeling that more because it's not patterned either. I mean, there's enough pattern on the wallpaper itself. You know? Yeah, I'm feeling that a little bit more. Even though there's carpet here, I'm still going to put a really sort of nice rug down. Not nice, but <laughs> a rug. I'm going to put a rug down. <laughs> it probably would be patterned. I could see them going for a patterned rug. Barb loves a pattern she does she really does uh what colorways do you come in i just want to mute this slightly oh that's better there we go oh that's much better oh yeah barb got this on sale merv like fought against her buying the rug but she was like merv <laughs> i'm having this rug <laughs> oh christ on a bike Right, okay. <laughs> Where's this armchair I'm looking for? I know that this does come in a matching one, but I want two different armchairs and I want the cats and dog armchair, I think. I just can't see it with my eyes. Where are you? Oh, they I was thinking of these. I mean, that looks nice there. Do we have like another colorway with... Oh, look. Yeah, I think I'm going to go for these. Yeah. We're going to go for these. So this one here, just at a jaunty angle, I'm going to put a nice lamp over in this corner with a plant and maybe a little table, actually. Yeah, Merv likes to sit in this chair. This is Merv's chair. He's like one of those, he keeps an eye on the neighborhood. One of those ones. Nosy Norm. My name is, what is it? I, I remember something from a sketch show. It used to be a nosy neighbor and I am a nosy neighbor. I have no idea where that's from. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> right, and then this one here awkwardly is going to be like here. With a table on this side. Um, Dog bed. Dog bed. By the fire. A coffee table, don't forget. Yeah, this is working. This is working for me. So where can we put the dog bed? I did want the dog bed to be like by the side here, but I do want a table. I suppose to be able to do both. I could put both here. I'm still waiting for the day to have a small circular sort of side table. Like that isn't nine foot tall. And, you know, with a 90 mile wide circumference. <laughs> I am exaggerating, but that is just me. I like to exaggerate. I mean, this would be perfect, but look at the colorways. It just doesn't suit it. Um, hmm, I'm going to have a think. Okay, so I decided to go for these ones, which were in a free base game update. Not really the style I would have gone for in here. Um, but again, as I said, it's going to be quite an eclectic mix of furniture. I also put one over here as well, where I'm going to put a plant, I think, and then a lamp behind this. Um, a big, like, garish bunch of flowers I think Barb would like. She would like a big, garish bunch of flowers. In the most garish... There we go, lovely. <laughs> in the most garish colour you can imagine. <laughs> lovely. And then a lamp behind this place. Or this area, sorry. Um, Maybe just something along these lines. I mean, that's the perfect colourway. I love picking out stuff where you don't have to cycle through. Lovely. Right, we'll pop you just behind this sofa here. 
Lovely. And then on this one, I'm going to put an actual table lamp in to match what we've already got over that side. Do we have a matching lampshade with that? I don't think we do. Probably have. Probably have somewhere. But isn't this like... No. Um, that's a bit too bougie. Bougie for a place like this. I mean, this is the perfect size. Where are you? No. What? So you can't go up on there? Are you kidding me? Why? Why can it not go up on there? Go to hell. Right, okay, next. <laughs> Maybe this one. I think this one's the winner. For me. Oh, yes. Oh, that screams Barb, that does. Screams Barb. Okay, and for a dog bed, I'll probably see them with like an old spaniel. So maybe something a little bit bigger than that would need would be needed for this area. Um, oh, that's a cute color wafer in here. Yes. And then we'll put the dog bed just next to the sofa there. Likes to lie by the fire and soothe with its arthritis. Yeah. Okay. And bookshelf. I'm going to do a bookshelf across there and maybe a plant there, I think. Um... Oh, that's kind of perfect. Not the colorway, but I don't know, actually. Is that wood okay in here? It's a bit warmer, but I don't want it to be too dark. I'm going to go with it. Yes, we're going to do... Can I do two of these? No, we can do one. Yeah, we'll do one there. A grandfather clock there. They love a glam... This generation love a glam... <laughs> love a grandfather clock. Took me about 90 years to get there, but we got there in the end, my darlings. <laughs> yeah, grandfather clock there or there. I think it would look better there, actually. Lovely. Yes. Okay. Um. Maybe just a... No, I don't want to put a chair there. Maybe I could actually put the thing there. I was going to do a desk here, wasn't I? But mm, kind of feeling this now. I could do a that there and maybe put a plant on this side like an old not an old plant but something that looks hmm is there a little th yeah something like that that's perfect you know what i mean something that looks like it just crawled itself away from the argos catalog straight into barbara's <laughs> barbara's hands <laughs> completely shading barbara at the minute but it's true. <laughs> it's very true. Um, no, we'll keep it in that. We'll keep it in that colorway. And let's get some photos going up. Some a coffee table as well. Obviously, I could do two of these. Yes. Oh yes. Mirror above the fireplace. Maybe something. Yeah, something like this. Something a bit fancy. But that doesn't look like it's glowing with a thousand suns. No, that's not right. That's a shame. I always say this, but we need more landscape mirrors. I'm bored of them. Bored of them. Oh, do you know what? That will do. And that colorway is fine. Yeah. Now, coffee table. I could do a big circular coffee table in this one. Now, there's a thought. We'll do a big circular coffee table here, I think. Or not circular. Well, it is by the Sims 4 standard. Um, because nothing is circular in this game. <laughs> uh, do we want to use that dark, dark wood? I think we do. Yeah, I think I'm going to. I'm going to put that on there. Lovely. Yes. Yes, there may be just a few clutter objects on the top here. So, what are they reading? And a couple of books out on the side. Um, Lovely. Um, remnants of grandkids. Oh, we need to make sure that we're getting in grandkids. Um, kind of aesthetics in here as well. Uh, so maybe a school bag in the... There we go. Let's colour you... Um, an owl one. An owl one would be lovely. Oh. Oh, this is pretty cute, isn't it? I'm going to size it down, but... I think that matches in here. Yep. 
That one there will do. Maybe I could put a toy box over in this corner. Or I could use the one, yeah, like this. Yes. Yes. We'll use this down here. There we go. Let's move that bed in a little bit more. There we go. Just by the, oh God, I've grabbed hold of a curtain. There we go. Into there. Yep. Let's get some photos on the walls. <laughs> I'm not getting any more of those inspirational ones up there. <laughs> Just some nice classic photos. Um, something along the lines of maybe, yeah, like a landscape one. Change that wood type though. Yeah, like that. Lovely. Is that a bit low? No, it's fine. Um, I'm gonna get some more of those sconces from out here in here as well. Um, I know somebody asked me as well to upload this. Um unfurnished so you guys could do it but um i forgot <laughs> sorry i forgot about that so um yeah just i can't at the minute <laughs> so maybe just if you do want to do it yourself you'll have to just delete everything my friends but i'll remember that for next time if you guys wish me to upload any of this stuff like um sort of like bear so you guys can sort of like do your own stamps on it i will remember that for next time Okay, well, I'm kind of happy. This place is coming to alive a bit now. The um, the personalities are coming through. I'm just wondering about getting a candle up here. Not necessarily a Christmas one, but that doesn't need to be Christmas. Just because it's got a bit of pine there doesn't mean it's Christmas. <laughs> and maybe like a a little like ornament of something. They love their ornaments. Oh, look, a little, oh, a little piggy. We'll get you up there. Garish, garish ornaments. They love them. Oh, we need gnomes out in the garden. I forgot all about that. We're going to do it now. Let's pop a few of these gnomes. What one's, what's that got in its hand? Oh, it's a briefcase. Okay. And then the little naked gnome down there. Naughty. Barbara and her naughtiness. Is that the only one? I know we've got more, but where are you? Oh, there we go. The little bear gnome as well. We'll pop you down just there. Yes. Cheeky. Cheeky gnomes. Um, and maybe in the middle a duck. There we go. <laughs> yeah, that screams Barb, that does. And then up here, maybe he's trying to find if I could get a photo of a couple. Maybe they could be... <laughs> Maybe they could be their, their parents. I don't think they were born <laughs> in that era, though. They're old, but they're not that old. Um, dee -dee 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 -dee. Where are you? Uh, I can't really see another two people. So Maybe I'll just put a photo of somebody up. I mean, this could act as like a grandparent or something. Like Bob's. Bob's. Oh, aren't they together in one of these? No, they're not. That's a shame. Did I put that somewhere? No, I didn't. Okay. Dude, dude, dude. And then I think that's as high as I can go there. Maybe I can put them both together. I'll do the man and the woman. These can be their great, great grandparents or something. I don't know. I just don't know. The story has not come to me. I'm going to put them at a bit of an angle. There we go. Yeah, that's pretty, isn't it? Stunning, that. Stunning. Okay, we're going to move on to the kitchen. Okay, so the kitchen area. Again, hasn't been updated since, like, the 80s, I was going to say. Yeah, around about the 80s. Um, So the layout, I'm going to probably do the kitchen in that kind of orientation around here. Um, And then this little area here. I was thinking about people just putting a breakfast bar up there. Uh, and this is obviously the dining room. And this is just a little thoroughfare from the passage or the entranceway into like the bathroom, etc. Um, so, yeah, let's have a look at some of the kitchen, shall we? I'm just going to move my keyboard forward. I feel like I'm stretching. Um, what kitchen can we use? I mean, these would look great in here. 
Does that wood go with the tone on the edge there? It kind of doesn't. <laughs> that one does though. But, oh, Oh, that could be pretty perfect. I know it's not the matching wood, but the tone in it kind of blends its well to it. Blends its way to it. Shall we say? In fact, we're going to go for this one. The one that I just said that we weren't going to use. We're going to use it. Um. So yeah, there we are. Um. Let, what colorway was that? That was... That one? Yeah, it was that one, wasn't it? Yes. Yes. Okay, so. Mm-hmm. <laughs> What I would do is maybe put an end piece here. Oh, nope, not you. I need you there, my love. A corner piece there. Oh, that's the wrong piece. No, it's not. It's just being an... Nope, it is the wrong piece. Um, That's the one. That's the ticket. We'll put a bin down there. Let's do that now before we forget. Um, A little... Just a little bin. Maybe put that like there. Okay, I might, mm, I wouldn't mind the sink. I would want the sink to be over that side. Maybe I'll put the oven here. Maybe, I have no idea. All right, okay. Oven there, another little corner unit here. Need to remember, to, we'll put a fridge underneath that area there. So I'll move these straight across. It's quite a big kitchen space, but hey. Barb loves to cook. <laughs> Barb is all about that cooking life. <laughs> yes, that's the perfect cooker in here. Yep. And, and fridge. Mm, a little bit of an updated fridge. Barb treated herself. She absolutely treated herself to a new fridge. Yeah, fridge there. Cooker there. And then a sink just underneath. Uh, not you. Something a bit, yeah, there we go. A bit more classic. Oh, I keep doing that. Um, Can we change the colour of the taps? Just for something a little bit. There we go. Stunning. Stunning. Okay. Okay. Right. Now. This one. Is that the right tone? They always look such different colours when you put them next to each other. Um, I might do a bigger one here, actually. Oh, that's going to look weird. Um, why is that fitting weird there? I could maybe get rid of you. Oh, not you. You. I'd have to move the bin now, but I can find somewhere else for the bin. The kitchen is definitely big enough. Is that against the wall? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Um, And corner unit to there. I, I just thought that's going to be a bit weird, isn't it? Mm, if I can do, they up. They always look way too high on these walls. Um, because I did want to do more along here. Do you know what? I'm not going to bother. I'm just going to do. Oh, I just suppose that looks weird there. No, I'm not. No, we're going to do it, and then we're going to do another one on this side. There's not enough cupboard space. Let me just see what this looks like. Yeah, that's way too high there. Bugger it. We're going to do it as I was doing before. And then maybe what I could do is... I'm going to test this. It might not work. Just do a row across the top there. No, that looks weird. That looks weird. That looks strange. We're going we're gonna to back away from that. And I'm going to get a classic style kitchen extracting place. Kitchen, kitchen extracting fan, sorry, not place. <laughs> Just above the oven there. Oh, the cupboards are so weird in it because of the window placement. I did want more storage than this. Hmm. I'm going to have a think. One second. Okay. So I ended up getting rid of the window. It didn't really pull in anything else anyway because it was just a view of the <laughs> the water the greenhouse at the back so i've got rid of it and there are enough windows in this kitchen um 
just so I can get a good kind of cupboard area mapped out. Um, so yeah, I think we're gonna go with that. We're gonna go with that, my loves. Now, I can imagine a rug being in the kitchen. A really like dilapidated rug. Something along this lines. I know that this one here does. I know there's another one. Oh, there's a red one. Oh, that looks better. Yeah. Something that's had a lot of tread throughout the years with Barb <laughs> baking her bread. <laughs> I think that would be the best way to go. And lighting wise, I'm going to put some lights underneath the kitchen counter. Uh, in a, Do you come in anything other than that? No? Okay. Maybe I'll just do two, like one there and one there. Just to bring a bit of lightness over to that area. That's better. Okay, and then I'll go through and put in some good old Christmas, Christmas? Good old decorations. I've got Christmas decorating on my brain at the minute because I'm going to get my tree today and I'm very excited about it. Um. Okay, kitchen utensils. I want the classic looking one. We'll get these up. We'll get the dish rack going. Do you come in a darker wood no nope, we'll just keep you in that one then maybe i'll turn it that way there we go um what's that never noticed that before oh that would look really cool in shops um yep to tea she is all about the tea <laughs> she loves the tea oh shit the sheets i completely forgot i need to get uh, um I'm going to do it over this side. Screw the breakfast area. I'm going to put the washer and dryer over this side. Maybe I could still fit that in, actually. Where is it weirdly again? Uh, washer unit. There we go. In like a creamy colour I can see in here. Oh, I can't wait for the plus and minus keys glitch to be fixed because it's so annoying. There we go. Oh, that's got a money thing on it, though. Is this a dryer? Yeah, this is a dryer. Okay, dryer. Where's the washer? There we go. Don't need a wash a coin on it. There we go. Washer dryer. I hate that these go into the wall so much as well. It's really annoying. I'm gonna size up a shelf. I think. Let me just match that wooden over here. If we can. Is that the right one? No, that's too warm. I mean, that one there's too dark, but it kind of suits it. Yeah, this one, I think. And then maybe just size it up one, and that can act as another unit on top there. Hoping that this will still work. That should work. That should work. Yeah. And then a little breakfast area here. Now, didn't we get a new table that has bar stools on it? I can't remember. This one's going to be a bit too modern to go in there, I think. Yeah, it looks a bit weird. Maybe I'll do two of these kind of matching counters. Oh, you absolute moron. I hate you. All right, we're going to have to shuffle you along and shuffle you just tightly there. And then maybe move this shelf in. That shelf's the wrong colour. We're going to change it. Maybe I could keep it white. And maybe I could just move it out slightly. Oh, girl, girl. Oh, no, it's not going to do it because of the wall. We'll leave it there. <laughs> we'll leave it there. <laughs> and we're getting some bar stools. Now... 70s aesthetic bar stool these ones but they're a bit too maybe i can use some class oh god that works really well yes and in that tone as well we'll put two of them there for a little breakfast nook and we'll, we'll detail that area in a sec we'll detail that area in a sec let's get back over here and do what we were doing oh i know it's on top annoying can i move this do you reckon that would they it would work having the shelf that low into it we're gonna try we're gonna try 
We're gonna try, we'll do it, we'll do a play test. We'll do a play test, it will be fine. Anyway, I was looking for, oh, <laughs> get distracted. <laughs> Cakes, yeah, we'll use one of these, maybe like there. Lovely, we we'll make sure to use, utilize that so they can use that to cook because I know how glitchy it gets when you put stuff on counters and they don't want to use it. There's an umbrella stand there. We're going to put you out by the door as well, my love. Yeah, maybe like there. Lovely. Um, hmm. Where is that? It's base game, so I'm just going to filter it for, to base game. Um, you can go in the corner. You do not want to go on there. Okay, well, you can. You will. You bloody will. Oh God, <laughs> it doesn't, is that floating? Oh, it's not floating, okay. Maybe I'll change the color and it's gonna go away. Yeah, to that and slide you down and scoot you right in there. There we go. Lovely. Oh, this would work well in here as well, but I don't think there's anywhere. Oh, that's perfect. Is that, is that, uh, is that a bit big? Is that bit, can I size you down? We look weird, tiny, little tiny shelf. Yes, it will. Let's just scoot you out a bit further away from the door there. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay, okay. Right, let's not get distracted again. Cue me getting distracted. Is it not in this, is it in clutter? Am I, am I going about this wrong? Is it in clutter? Yeah, there is. That's what I needed. You. I needed you. Um. And a spice rack. Oh, shit. I was trying to keep that area free. We'll keep the spice rack out. I'll put that there and I'll shove the tea in the corner. And I hate using the tea machine thing because it just doesn't sit well with my British self. But I'm going to use it because Barb loves the tea. <laughs> She loves the tea. Um, I know I can move this. I'm gonna move this to like there and then put that back in. There we go. Much better. Much better. <laughs> and a dog bowl. We'll get a dog bowl out here as well. Um, I could put it next to the bin. Put it next to the bin. Just a cheeky little dog bowl. There we go. Wait, the dog can have food. And a little little rug to wipe your feet on on the way in and out. I use the same one as what we've done out here. I've been sizing these down a lot recently. Just been finding them a little bit too large for a doormat. There we go. Okay. And some detaily things around here as well. Uh, but I'll come back to that. We'll come back to that when we go to detailing. But yeah, kitchen's not looking too bad. Honestly, it's not in our my tastes. And there do need to be a few little objects here and there for detail. But we'll get to that in the detailing part. It's this area here that needs work. Um, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. But uh, I'm going to do the dining room. Okay, the dining room. Um, I've done the toilet as well. I just, yeah, made it very, like it needs a bit of updating. But I did want to put like a bath shower down here. Um, mainly because they've got a dog. Makes sense to wash the dog downstairs if they've got a bathroom downstairs. Uh, dining room, we'll keep it very family. So I do want quite a big table, I think. Um, maybe they're gonna be, that's gonna be too big in here. Oh no, it's not, it's not at all. Okay, yes. And this table's kind of perfect as well. What's this one look like? Oh, that's a bit more rustic. I prefer that one in the darker tones that we've been using in here. So yeah, that that one there, do excuse me. Um, and the chairs, I've got my eye on those really classic, like these, but with the cushions on. I know I've got them somewhere and I will find you. I will find you. It's nice to have bigger thumbnails now with the UI scale so I can actually see what I'm looking for. Um, this is gonna be pretty difficult to get the exact shade of wood. And 
I don't think I want to go too dark with it. I might even lighten, lighten the table up, actually. Yeah, we're going to lighten the table up because I like these poppies. <laughs> or whatever flower they're meant to be. And we'll do some china cabinets in here. I can see Barb loving a china cabinet. Yeah, that's cute. Has it got a window in here? It hasn't. Oh, I don't like that. Don't like the fact that the dining room hasn't got a window in. But, meh. We're going to have to go with it. Going to have to go with it. I'm going to change the colour of this wood. Oh, no, we're not. <sighs> I mean, the grey is okay. That's going to be too warm. We're, good. we're just going to... Oh, I don't want to keep it like that. I'm going to keep one of these chairs out. I'm going to go and get that base game one, I think. Get the base game table. Because that was very similar to the one that we just used. And I think we'd have better chance of matching in a colourway here. Um, no. I mean, that's better. It's not the same wood again, but it's not as dark, I don't think. Um, what about using, like, one of these instead? Oh, do you know what? Going to. Going to use these. And I'm going to use that one. Going to use that one. Again, chairs don't match, but Barb and Merv do not care. They've got bigger things to worry about. Bigger things to worry about. Okay, um, D D D. where are you? What am I looking for here? Surfaces, I cannot remember where they are. Excuse me, one moment. <laughs> so I had to shuffle it around a little bit. Uh, so I pushed the table right to the wall, which eh, I would have preferred it in the middle, but I really wanted to use that big cabinet there, because mainly because it's got the plates and stuff on them. Barbara just, she loves a plate absolutely loves the plate because this area is not got any windows i'm gonna put a big mirror on the wall i think um i think i am i do believe i am do i want to maybe use one of these mirrors but not in that that was too gold oh that's fitting that's fitting and maybe i could put one in the middle let's have a look um what about if I slide you along to say there and the same with this one to there. There we go. That just adds, that just reflects a bit of light into the room. Stops it from looking too closed in. Um, And then maybe just a few little cheeky like pictures on the wall of a flower. Lovely. Yep. A little daffy dill. Little daffodil there. Oh, maybe some of those hanging plate things. Isn't this like right down the bottom? Like one of the most expensive things it is. Oh, she loves them. Loves a parakeet plate. Does Barb. And maybe maybe a candle and some flowers in the middle of the table, I believe. Um. Ooh. Yeah, this is cute. Yeah, something along those lines. Do I want to use that colourway? I think I do. Yeah, we'll use that colourway. And maybe just a candle. Candle. Maybe just a little candle. Um, Something like... Maybe this. In that colourway as well. Perfect. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Got the little dining room on the go there. Do I want to add a couple of sconces in here? I could put them like here. Because these are like the darkest points. Um, And maybe on the other side as well. They're probably in the wrong areas, but we can have a little look. That is definitely low. What's your default? What's your default? There we go. Let's get them at default. There we go. That's better. Yeah, okay. Okay, so downstairs is semi-complete, really. Obviously, it needs some detail chucked in in places, but we will, as I said, we will do it in the detailing episode. Upstairs we go. Um, So this was going to be the main bedroom, so this is obviously going to be Merv's, Merv's and Barb's. I'm going to get in the same curtains as what I did downstairs. Now, they don't fit on the window perfectly, so I wrote, like, sort of rode them up a little bit. Um, And the same here. The same here with these on this side here. Now, I did block up the fireplace. I may even get rid of the fireplace altogether. 
Um, I used the little like freestanding one, but I'm thinking I might want to put the bed there. So I'm thinking, yeah, we'll get rid of that. We'll get rid of the fireplace and we'll put the bed here. Bed wise, something a bit old fashioned. Um, that's very small. They look very small. It's quite a large room actually. Um, but the rooms in 1930s houses tended to be a little bit bigger. I mean, that's not too, I'd kind of like that one. Let's keep you out, my friend. But also, I knew the one that was going to like this one here would have worked well in this room. Hmm. I think we're going to go for this one. But obviously, see if we can get a colorway. Oh, brown. It's a bit modern now. It's going over to the modern edge. Oh, God. So some of these choices. I think I'm going to go for this one. No, I don't like it. Nope, 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 nope. Wrong choice. Wrong choice of bed. Um, oh, that does match in very well, doesn't it? It's very dark in here. It's very dark in this bedroom. They would only have one light though. I'm going to bring some more of those sconces from downstairs up to here. And we'll place them one there, one there. That's a bit better. Okay. And little side tables. Let's have a little look, shall we? Um, This one here would work very well. I don't want to go too dark with the furniture. Because it's, very, it's quite a dark room. They don't match with anything anyway. So. Hmm. <laughs> you... Oh, yeah, you, maybe. Oh, that's quite dark, though. Bugger it. We're going to stick with a dark aesthetic in here, then. Just bring a good bit of lighting in. Good bit of lighting. Ah, oh, I forgot. I could have... Instead of doing sconces there. Mm, we'll do one by the door. I'm going to put... Table lamps here. Let's do a little table lamp. Mm, again, trying to choose all this. Because it's not my style. I'm trying to th channel Barb and Merv style. Oh. Done. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think they go quite well. What colourways do you come in? Have you got like a darker brass? No, they haven't. Oh, I suppose that one's a little bit less garish. Not by much, but it is. Okay. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Wardrobes here. Wardrobes along here. Still need some new wardrobes in the game. I'm really holding out for some nice new wardrobes. Oh, no. I need like 70s realness coming through. They look tiny in here. Why did I know the root, the walls are medium, but why does everything look tiny? Uh, than they usually do when I do. I can't speak at the minute. <laughs> I cannot speak at the minute. <laughs> I need some food. I think that's the problem. Um, I'm going to go for this. I'm going to go for these two. Am I? In fact, you know what? I'm going to make my bloody own. I can't decide. So I'm going to use these in that perfect and then what i'm gonna do is do like a little dressing moment in the middle might have to get rid of that sconce now but that does not bother me yeah i think i will get rid of you in fact i will put you we might need you by the mirror i know they have got dressing tables but i think i'm just gonna make my own is that right does that look right to you it looks right to me so we're gonna go with it and then Mirror. Yeah. Maybe I have to go this way. For mirror. Like this. What tones do you come in? Hmm. If I can do like one there. Move this one down. I'm going to size this one down. And the same with you on the other side. And then I'm going to do a little... 
dining table moment in the middle, maybe. In... No. It's not going to work. Hmm. I'm going to make my own. Uh, let's go into you. Hall table. Something like that. But something that's going to fit the aesthetic. I mean, that's not too bad. Oh, there we go. I mean, it's got a weird leg in the middle, but we'll look past that. <laughs> We're going to look past that, my loves. <laughs> I think the mirror's wrong. We'll choose a different mirror. Um, boop. Beep. Yes. Yes. Um... Okay, so we've gone for that mirror, which was the base game one. Fits in a lot better. Um, My phone just went off weirdly then. What was that about? And I'm going to flop in a bar stool. Um, where am I going? Why am I going to the bathroom? Something a little bit fancy. Haven't they got a lot like high back? This one. In like a... Have you got like a... There we go. Stunning. Put that there. Where Barb gets her rollers in of a night. <laughs> Lucky Merv. I'll try and hide that leg away. There we go. Yeah, stunning. Okay, cute. 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 And we'll do two chest of drawers in the uh, bay window. Um, doo -doo -doo. That's not too bad. I think we're going to do this instead. I think these may fit a bit better. Absolutely not. No, no. Absolutely not. Uh, I'm going to have to cut into the curtains. I'm sorry, guys. We're just going to pretend that they're just resting on top of it. Yeah, that's a bit better. That's a bit better. We'll come to detailing all that in the detailing part. But I just wanted to get the basis of this room down. Yes. Okay. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. There still needs to be pictures on the walls. But again, detailing. Oh, hello there, friends. It's future Aiden here. With sexy bathrobe, may I add. You, I am treating you lot to the max, aren't I? Now, <laughs> I had a bit of a corruption with my recording footage. I don't know what happened. My audio must have cut out or something. So it was literally me just there, like, building the rest of the house. And um, not having any voice on it. So... I didn't know what to do with that footage. I was like, shall I rebuild it again? And it's like, can't be bothered. So future Aiden has come to you and saved you from that madness. And yeah, it's complete. <laughs> it's complete. The house is actually complete. So this is the kid's bedroom. I'm just going to show you around. I think that's the best way to do this little um, end to this build. So I'm going to show you around what we've done. A nice little kid's room. Well used. Again, not keeping up with the times of the actual air. Uh, yeah, trends and whatnot, but I, can't, I don't know. I think this house has got character. It's got a little bit of charm to it with all of the odour. But I thought that was pretty cute. I thought that was pretty cute. But yeah, with all of the odour like touches and stuff in it. Pretty simple hallway. Haven't even put any curtains up. May rethink that. Just put a little hall table out in here. Now I did finish off Barb and Merv's room as well. Barb and Merv are actually downstairs as we speak. I will introduce you to them in just a second. Um, So this is Barb and Merv's room. I put in a kind of... Uh, record player for them to maybe have sex to you know they could just have sex to a jaunty pirate tune or something <laughs> i'm joking well i'm not actually it's whatever barb and merv wants to do really so yeah we can play <laughs> oh god i'm gonna i'm gonna regret putting this out on the internet aren't i um yeah so this is barb barb and merv's room i just thought it was really cool again keeping with that darker 1970s to 80s aesthetic that I wanted floating through to this house. Um, main bedroom and bathroom, sorry. So this is the main family bathroom. Again, this house does need updating, but Mar Barbara and Merv are happy. They're happy here. They're happy in their house. Little linen closet there. And then we've also obviously got the spare bedroom. So this would be where if Barbara and Merv have a guest over... They will have someone come and stay in this room. Again, pretty simple clashes and mixes of furniture here and there. Really would have preferred a different wardrobe, but none of them were fitting in with the aesthetic of this room. So I had to kind of change up the side tables of the bed. Uh, darker, lighter woods together. 
peachy tones going into that 80s aesthetic. Maybe we should uh, press press play and I'll take you downstairs and show you Barb and Merv. Here's Barb and Merv. It's pissing down outside at the minute. One second. I just had to turn the volume down slightly. You probably can't even hear it now. But anyway, here's Barb and Merv. And that is little Loki. Loki is their little spaniel. I'm saying she's probably around about eight years old. So she is a bit of an older, bit of an older dog. Where am I going? Oh shit, there we go. So yeah, I thought they were a really cute pair of Sims. Lovely, lovely. Look at his little buckled shoes. Stunning. And this is Barb. The dog lover, by the way. Um, I'll get the grandkids and that made as well for the Sims, for the saves file when this actually gets released into a save file. Um... I'll make sure that all their connecting families are living around the area somewhere. I'm just wondering if I did anything else. I added in a few little touches here and there. I also sorted out this area here to be a bit more appropriate. 1980s kitchen. Got rid of that kind of uh, breakfast bar area and decided to put a little table in there as well. Um, I'm just thinking of anything else that I changed around. No, I think that was pretty much it. I think I added a chair in the hallway. So really, this house is done for detail. So we'll concentrate next time on the power lesbian's house. <laughs> I love that. The power... Oh, I also found this, which is from Strangerville. I got rid of that table and plonked it over this side. And I thought that fit in with the aesthetic of the garage a little bit better. A little bit better. But yeah, sorry about that, friends. Nothing I could do. It's a, like, a mishap with... Um, the recording software, I don't know what went on. But next time, we're going to be getting this completed and this part of the series will be done. So the semi dutch to houses will be up on the gallery as soon as we get this house here complete, obviously. But um, me and my sexy bathrobe will see you next time. Goodbye. <laughs>